It's out there. There's lots of systems out there already. They're growing. More and more companies are competing to offer privacy uh, by putting in end to end because they think that's what the public wants. And so it's out there already. The tide of encryption is certainly growing. And even intelligence agencies acknowledge that actually strong encryption, the head of GCHQ gave a speech last month saying actually it can be a pretty good thing because it stops your information being stolen by hackers or, for instance, the intelligence agencies of other states who might want to get hold of corporate information. And if this information is encrypted, it's a good thing. So the, the, the trade-offs in it are pretty complex between not just privacy and security, but different types of security, you know, individual security against hackers versus collective security when terrorists and um, child exploiters use the systems. Well, if you think the technology companies, I mean, there's been quite a lot of heat generated by this, not least between Apple and the FBI lately. Are they privately as as relaxed as maybe the security services are behind the scenes? Uh, well, I think that what's been unusual uh, in this situation is that the technology companies which are usually at war have pretty much united to say encryption is important, we're going to defend it, uh, both in the US and in the UK, where it's uh, one matter of debate in, uh, in, the, in the current debate about the investigatory powers bill. Um, uh, what they are saying, well, interesting, WhatsApp, not saying anything on the record, but give, giving to understand that uh, off the record, they do try and collaborate when they can on important inf investigations into things like child abuse. And then there is a certain amount of information. For instance, you have to have a phone number to use WhatsApp, which you don't have to have for some other uh, services. So they're saying they are perhaps uh, not quite as uh, you know uh, deaf to the entreaties of the security services as some others. Got it. Thank you. Gordon, too. Ben has the word. Ben Richard. Hi there, Eddie. Thank you. Well, today has brought to April showers for many of us, but a rather more wintry chill, and there is more of the same to come over the next few days. Through tonight, it's going to remain blustery, a strong northwesterly wind, and a mixture of clear spells and heavy showers. The heavy showers.